What's up, dude? How you doing? Good. What's going on? Not much. Not much. Yeah, you got a trail name? Yeah, I'm Clean Break. Clean Break. What's up, man? Captain Jack here and Bob Ross there. Oh, nice. <laughs> How you doing? Good. How are you doing? Yeah, man. How long you guys been out here? Uh, this is like day 11, I think, or 12. Oh, okay. Nobody was bitching about the fact that they were Good morning from Trey Mountain Shelter. Well, I started uploading last night, but I guess I fell asleep and I'm still at 1%, so we're working on that right now. I like the hat. Let's get this selfie, guys. About ready to shove on out. Looks like we're gonna do another little short day today, maybe seven, eight, whatever that is, to the next little shelter. Something like that, not far. Yep. Taking it easy. We both got sore ankles, and I'm still babying this knee. Man, I thought this was supposed to be PG. Captain Jack, what's our lunch look like? Looking good. Chicken and fettuccine. Oh, we. I think I remember liking that last time I had it. Ah, the chicken smells disgusting. It's <laughs> to cook it with something. We were using lemon pepper chicken last time, so we're not, I'm not sure how much it's going to make a difference. but. Yeah, but this was uh, the five ounce big size, 26 grams of protein, baby. Yeah, yeah, we're going to need every bit of that today. What's up guys? We uh, really just rolled out of camp late and found this first water source and decided to go ahead and cook. We um, realized we're really low on propane, so we're hoping we have enough to cook our meal tonight. We're definitely gonna have to drop in for a little resupply tomorrow at some point, and hopefully get back on trail. <clears throat> just uh, giving y'all a little update. That was a climb and a half right there. Oh yeah, we're finally getting a break from the wind. Like, but that wind is whooping our butt. Yeah, it's some intense wind out here. This was an intense uphill too. It's gonna be our last uphill into camp tonight, whatever that shelter is up there. You remember, Bob? Deep gap shelter. That's right. <laughs> Deep gap, bro. I felt that yawn. Still on the way up. Harley, Steve. Oh. Guess that's the top of this climb. Feels like we've been climbing forever. Ooh, that wind is howling right now. We're gonna see which way the shelter's pointing. Let's do it. Oh yeah, guys, I think I remember this shelter. This thing was packed when I stayed here in 2020. People were sawing logs up there. Yeah, I remember that like it was yesterday. We are worn out today, guys. 
did very little filming. Both got aches and pains. Our food bags are getting small. Tomorrow's gonna be a resupply day and we are both ready. So we may have uh, underestimated our food bags for this little section. We're definitely a little hungry. Got one more meal left, a couple bars. Just wanna throw a shout out to Charles and say thanks for all this extra vegan food you threw us. Tastes a little weird, but it's coming in strong right now. Got some rain coming in tonight, we think. Rain or snow. But they ain't got nowhere to hang in this shelter, so. Going with the setup. Hoping the wind's coming from this direction. I think Bob might, might just cowboy in the shelter or whatever. All right, guys, this is what we got coming our way tonight. Sorry, myself. Is it a thunderstorm? It's a severe, th like everything, there's exclamations everywhere. Same. It's a severe thunderstorm morning? I think so. I'm going back to it now. Huh. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to be honest. Bob is, uh, Bob is making me a little nervous right now. He keeps showing me the weather report and I'm looking at that red coming right through at us. The thing that scares me the most is one of these dead limbs popping off and landing in my hammock with me. That could really suck. Huh? 15 to 25 mile an hour winds. 15 to 25? Yeah. That ain't shit. I mean, that ain't 15 to 25 miles an hour winds. Yeah. All right, so Bob said it's 25 mile an hour winds. I think I'm going to let it ride. So, yeah, we are uh, we have to go to town tomorrow for a resupply. So, um, I think I'm going to just let it ride. I was really getting nervous, but all the trees look pretty solid around my hammock. I might catch a limb or something, but... <clears throat> Honestly, that part of it is because I think I'm probably good. The other part of it is because my feet are sore AF and I do not want to take it down right now. <laughs> so, <clears throat> and also we've already seen some mice crawling in this shelter and I ri <sighs> I don't I don't want to snuggle with mice tonight. So I'm going to Yep, I keep my fingers crossed tonight, y'all. Everybody's freaking me out. We're in dangerous damaging winds. Last thing I want to happen is rip up my park tonight. So let's go ahead and pack it back up. Sleep with uh, Bob and the, the mice tonight. Woohoo! <laughs> Legs, feet, ankles, everything's sore. Chilling. We 
Yeah, so the weather weather might get pretty intense tonight. <clears throat> gonna find out don't feel bad right now about this fire though honestly if we just had more food it would be like yeah stay here all day tomorrow but regardless of the weather we're gonna have to get moving eventually because we're out of food completely well like one meal that we're about to cook one pack of tuna one bar maybe energy bar or you know whatever oh yeah they got mice in there ain't no if fans or buts about that we're really low on gas right now too so we're gonna do our best to heat it up heat the water up for our last meal with uh with the coals here that way hopefully we got enough propane to uh keep a nice little bowl for these these nor pasta noodles so they're not too hard we kind of roughing it tonight. <clears throat> Hopefully that yeah, rain don't. As many times as we cook fire, I mean light good fires, we should be doing this to uh, boil our water at first. I mean roughing it tonight in terms of how much food we have to eat, really. Oh yeah, no doubt. But yeah, like in terms of how close we're cutting it on the gas too, we're really not even sure if we're gonna be able to cook right now. With with the gas, we might just have to use just the fire and stir it some kind of way while it's cooking in there. It might burn the hill. Turn your headlamp down, man. Oh, oh that's mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys, we just we just lost a big tree somewhere pretty close to us off in the distance, though. So that's like maybe 30 minutes after I picked up my hammock and tarp. It's not far either from where we were. Yeah, it landed pretty close to us. You could hear you could hear the ground vibrating when it hit. Like you could feel the ground vibrate when it hit. That was no joke. Anyways, I think this I think this shelter's gonna hold up though, man. This this thing is built with like eight by eights or some four by eights. I don't know if y'all can see right now. I'm trying to point at the uh, beams and stuff. So we're gonna stay up top. This thing looks structurally sound. Yeah, we're gonna. We're gonna hope this shelter holds out. That just scared the crap out of me, though, if I'm being honest. So we're completely out of gas. This is uh, hopefully gonna work out for us. We got it simmering. Now we're just gonna hopefully not burn anything. We could get it to a little bit higher boil. What we really need to do here, but. Oh, that's good. It's hot on that side. Can you uh, turn? Oh wait, y'all can see that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good actually. Try to see if everything's soft and let it go longer. Try it. I mean, try it. They look hard to me. We getting close. Might end up being a wild ride tonight, Bob. Tell you what, dude. I knew that tree came down a little while ago. It kind of made me a little nervous. We're going to see what happens. Oh my God, Bob, Bob. That was the first time we cooked a meal, like the entire thing next to the fire. And it was amazing. We got to do that more often. 
we'll go through like half the uh, gas you already have. Yeah, we'll carry a little small canister and just for backup, if we can't light a fire. And we'll do it this way every time. Dope. Okay.